because Asia is such a quirky market and they like very posy cookie cutter like cheese that we don't really do here in Toronto we're all about looking you know look natural and mm -hmm. lean against the wall and pretend you don't care and yeah so I think um I was like wait you want me to pose like what is this like I thought we were not supposed to we're supposed to forget the cameras there and this and that so I found that was really challenging at first um when I went back to Korea the second time I was with another agency and I thought found that they were a lot better at giving more kind of guidance to their models and how to handle castings and whatnot. Um, but I mean, it's I found it very, and there's a lot more Russian girls and girls from you know Eastern Bloc countries who are there to make money and they are there to feed their families. And I found some castings were very aggressive and it's very interesting because I mean, I'm sure I'm a competitive person. I'm an Aries by nature. I like to be first, you know, everything. Um, but I found that when I was there, like, I had a very, like, well, I don't want to say personality change, but I have a very different outlook towards working and how I should be at castings, if that makes sense. So it was not like Toronto, and it was very different from London, obviously, um, the castings and everything, and, um, you know, the way girls interacted with one another, so. So what was that like? What was that? Um, like? sorry? What was that competition like? What um, just like girls being, you know, literally standing in front of one another. Like if you take 10 girls into a casting, standing, you know, in front of one another and literally like blocking the client. Um, I've had like, uh, like Russian girls literally shove me out of the way. Um, <laughs> my reaction was to shove back harder. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was kind of funny because like, um, I got like this reputation that I was like a Canadian model, but I like, like just with some of these other girls, like, I don't know, I, it's funny because I got on with the Brazilian models, like House on Fire, they're very nice, but I think some of these, it's not fair to say Russian, because I met some lovely Russian girls, mm -hmm. and I haven't had any problems with them, but I'm just kind of lumping it together, but, um, but just some of these girls were just very aggressive, and I felt like I had to be, I mean, that's great, you know, like, it, well, it's very unfortunate that, they, you know, this is their way of, you know, providing for their families or getting finances or you know basically making a living and I had to make it in my brain so that I was just as competitive on their level um, because you know let's face it if modeling doesn't work out for me if everything falls through tomorrow what I'll do I'll just go home to my parents house in West Vancouver and you know get a job you know working for my uncle's company or something like I've got a pretty good safety like just being from North America and being from like Canada, I have a safety blanket that is just my nation, my nationality, my nation, and every tool that society, my parents, you know, education has given me to succeed. Mm -hmm. Whereas these girls, if if it falls through for them, like their parents, their family might have some serious issues. So for me, I mean, I had to look at it like I guess I have to get that competitive, and I can't really allowed that guilt to get to me I guess mm -hmm. but although I didn't really feel guilty I don't know I think some of them didn't have uh, very nice personalities um, like I said there were some lovely girls and I got on with them and I had no problems with them but um, I think that I'm sure that was coming back and it was coming back to you know bite them too in terms of their you know interaction with clients and their attitudes on set and mm -hmm. so yeah